Has this ever happened to you? You download a new level from Fab or a new environment or just a new 3D asset. You go to look at it and you're like, actually, I only want this one part of it. So now I've got to browse to the windmill, got to find it, open up my actual level that I want it in. Remember what the asset was called, navigate back to it and then put it into this world that I want instead. Well, there's a quick and easy solution to that. If you come up to settings and go to plugins and we'll find the actor palette. We'll click it and you'll restart your engine. Once that's happened, you go to tools, actor palette, and you'll have this new actor palette tool here. So we can open up this actor palette. I can open the last level or open a new level. So we'll find that windmill level that I was just on. And now I've got this level window screen opened as well. So now I can click on this windmill blueprint and just drag it into this world. And now it's here in the level that I want. If I want another level, so if I want to merge sort of two levels together, go to add to palette two, add it in. So now I've got two levels to take my assets from and have them open and I can display all the overview assets that we want. So this is a Chinese pack that we have here. And now if I just want this house roof, I can take that into my level as well. And I can combine all these assets together and make my own level without having to keep opening levels, remembering where things are and move them around like that. This is the actor palette plugin. It's free on Epic and it's super useful. This will help you 10 X your level design without a problem. Special thanks to our paid member, Dev Danny Diggs. We appreciate you. And a special thank you to the person who showed me this originally. Their name is Stalker. And yeah, this is an awesome thing that more people should know about and everybody should use.